Hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome back to Interstage Window, my Saturday stream, which is a stream of my friends. And I have here with me today, Kitty and Kendra. Say hi, guys. Hi. And Kendra coming up in here stealing the first. Cheating. <laughs> no, I just had your channel open and saw that it went live. It's not cheating. You're just using the, the tools available to you, right? Yeah, I just went onto your channel. And when it went live, I clicked on it. <laughs> <laughs> you totally weren't in the Zoom and I said I was going to bring it live or anything like that. Nope. Oh my god, my can is, you know when the tab is like too like too far down, Pokey. you can't get your oh. finger under it. There we go. Ooh. I had to get a tool to pry it. <clears throat> there we go. Don't break your Don't nails. I I would I would never. I would never break my nails on something like a can. That's ridiculous. Okay, Karen. <laughs> you say that. But I took the nail polish off my nails. Yeah. That I had put on with Eliza, the stampy doos. And as soon as I took nail polish off my nails, and like it was already mostly off, but my nails have broken. Every single nail just broke. Oh, I mean, one I after it the, the other. Nail polish makes your nails stronger. So if you don't put it back on, you've got like weak nails. Mm -hmm. I barely had any on because I had messed it up. Because I had to, you know, pick Lucas up and deal with Eliza. So it didn't get to dry correctly. Mm. So I had wiped most of it off. Oh, I don't know. Maybe but... this just means you need to paint your nails more often, especially since Eliza likes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the plan at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my nails, they used to be so nice and long. Yeah. And now they're not. They're little nubbies. Well, um, that's why some women, even if they're not trying to get pregnant again, keep taking the pregnancy vitamins. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can take biotin without the prenatal at this yes. point. Yes, yes. Yes, for sure. Okay, I'm going to get the game going, but y'all keep going. I'll, I'll give you the code once I have it. Okay. Yay. So here we go. Co -op. Give me the code. I yes. tested mine, so it should work just fine with the mod updates. Yay. Yeah. Okay, let me make sure the is the game it, the, make sure I'm making trying to make sure the stream can hear the game audio. I didn't test that beforehand. So they might have heard me. Uh oh. Come on, start. Shame. Okay, no, they can they can hear it. They can hear it. Okay. Let's okay. go into the settings and find the, okay. Oh. So show invite code. Okay. I'm pasting it into the Twitch chat. Um, Perfect. Yay. Could y'all, okay, y'all can both get it from there. I was going to type yes. it into the Discord, even though I screw that up like every time. And That's if anybody okay. watching would like to join in with us, all you need to do is go into the Discord, get the farmer role, and then you'll be able to get into the voice chat. Voice chat is not required, though. If you would like to play with us without the voice chat, you can just tell me in the Twitch chat. And you can just, you can just join. The code is in there. Oh my god, Yay. it's Kitty. Ooh, it's so good. It's snowing so good. Oh, and it's Kendra. Nice. Yes. Kendra is here. Oh, this old lady. Oh, because it's snowing. I don't think I don't have to water. I think I don't have yes. to water because it's snowing. Okay, what were we That what should we be doing? correct. Oh, we need to get a milk pail. Oh, that's right. Unless, I need... uh, Kitty, do you have the milk pail in your inventory? Um, let me check. I'm getting a guarded pot from this old lady that keeps talking. Evelyn. Okay. okay. I love okay. Evelyn. We oh, we were talking about it last time and we surmised that Landon probably has it and you know she cannot log into the game, so I think we just have to buy a new milk pail. But we're hoping maybe you have it. <laughs> I do not. I have a garden pot which looked like a milk pail. Boo. Yeah. Okay, yes, Kendra, we need to go buy a milk pail. I mean that's fine. Uh, it's not a big deal. Thank you. Right. I should have wrote a little note to myself. About what? About what my mission is today. Yeah, I don't... We're getting really close to the community center. Like, for the community center, all we need is the red cabbage, which we didn't... We weren't lucky enough to get that. We need a rabbit's foot and a pomegranate. I'm pretty sure we're growing a pomegranate tree in there. And we need three yeah. apples, and I'm pretty sure we're growing an apple tree in there. So, like, we're really close. Mm -hmm. Just Did need to level up stuff so we can get the um, 
I think we bought the rabbit. We do. I just checked. Yeah, the rabbit. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we but... I was going through and checking on our livestock. Okay. And we've got oak resin. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks like Pam. I thought we had a scarecrow of Pam. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mod that changes all the scarecrows into kitty cats. So I have oh my no goodness. idea what they really look like. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> One looks One like One apparently Pam. looks like Pam. So yeah, um, Kitty, tell everybody about um, your exciting, exciting news. Do y'all, do y'all hear anything different? Does anything sound a little different to you guys? Yeah. Um, that it sounds different. Oh to yeah. Me. I, <laughs> I didn't know yeah. you were talking about it. <laughs> Forgot what I was like. What exciting news? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my headphones. I should sound silky smooth like Shade. Yes, yes. Improvements, improvements in the in the sound quality here. Oh, oh. oh I okay. So in uh, an effort to uh, get Eliza's BFF uh, play date set up happening, we because she rides her bus, her afternoon bus. So after school got out one day, we we just walked down to the next bus stop afterwards instead of going home <gasps> to go and find the find this person. And you know, she was so excited. She comes running out, Eliza, and they just start, oh. um, you know, doing this little dance one after the other. Of course was, they do adorable it was like watching two npcs interact <laughs> but as far as this person's grandma could see from the window it was just you know this child talking to a random adult outside oh, god. Like, uh -oh. oh gosh no it's okay i'm this person's mom i promise but it was a very quick like listen i promise it's okay i'm not weird I'm not as weird <laughs> as i'm appearing to be at this moment Hi, please take my phone number so we can get them playing together. Please, please, please. <laughs> that's how and it happens told... usually in class. Yes. That's that's nice. But it's nice that it happens in class and not after school when this child just runs straight out of the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> you just took it to the next level. Yeah, there's there's a difference there, but you know, whatever. It, no, hello. Hi. So let's tell everybody why why it is. Why did you need the the parents number? Because I think it's very exciting. Uh, because Eliza needs play dates. So I, I still don't have this parents number. They just have mine. Oh. And I'm like, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Message me. Uh, the grandma lives right down the street from us. But I am going to at this point just set up like a s half birthday party for Eliza so she can have a party with all of you know her little friends because her birthday was you know the open house day so before school started before she met any of her friends mm -hmm. and I'm like I just we just need to get you connected we need to get you playing with kids outside of <laughs> Uh -huh. school <laughs> so bad you know the same thing happened to me because i had a july birthday right so it was yeah. always very um awkward in like how to get like um a birthday party with my school friends you know mm -hmm. um i did have a couple of friends in the neighborhood but um not that that wasn't even like really people that i everybody i wanted to invite so it was always like very awkward and like how do we do that i think half birthdays are a beautiful solution yeah it's you gotta do something yeah i just feel so bad for her and i don't know what the other parents are doing but i was kind of relying on you know eliza getting invited to parties mm -hmm. and so far there have not been any birthday parties mm. that i know of 
That's a bummer. It's yeah. already like March, so you would think there would have been one or two by now. I know. Like, people have had birthdays, but I guess not, you know, birthday parties where they invited all the class. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I remember, like, at that age, I'm pretty sure, like, I kind of had to invite at least all the girls. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I don't think I was allowed to really have a birthday where I left people out at that age. I if um I were to give Eliza invitations and I wanted just and we wanted just a couple people to attend, we would slip them into the parent communications folder. Yeah. And then the teacher would pass them out so that the people don't feel you know. left out. Yeah, so it's not yeah. a big thing. Yeah. And but that way it... every one can reliably get the <laughs> invitation to their parents. Yeah, and I don't know what it's like now or what it's like with Eliza, but I don't think at that age I don't think I was old enough to like really have like bullies exactly yet. So like there was not really a reason to have like something like a birthday party and not invite everybody. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Eliza would love to kick a couple of her classmates out of school. So <laughs> well, I there's mean, these two boys that she just cannot stand. Apparently, oh my God. Eliza, get over yourself. There's no way they're and that bad like, at that age. They're <laughs> mean. Wham. Uh, yeah. And I was like, seriously? He, got, he said unicorns don't exist. And I'm like, well, oh, God. I, like, I hate to tell you. And I mean, one of them is like, he said that you know, he didn't like my coloring page. Well, that and is it's, kind of a, jerk a lot thing of it is. Say. Yeah, a lot of it is. You know, it's the first time she's been around people that might not like her, mm. and oh. that she might not like. So it's not really about bullying. It's that, like, oh, I have to get along with people that I don't. Yeah, like all really of a sudden, like that much like yeah. they're annoying me or whatever. I'm forced to be around these people. And they don't think I'm the most awesome kid ever. Well. Excuse me. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like, obviously she is. But <laughs> <laughs> um, that's because I'm her mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Was there anything we were trying to build? I think we were working on upgrading one of the farm buildings. Okay. Yeah, I'm working so, on collecting money and getting through my missions. Okay. Yeah. Because I haven't. We I'm have working 64, on leveling up my combat. We have 64k now, so I need to go look tomorrow. I guess at what. Um, oh, the Robin... basement. Oh yeah, we don't have the basement yet. Are we trying to get the basement? Is that it? Yes. Okay. Yes, and we need hardwood for the basement. That oh, was... that's right. We gotta yes. go get hardwood. <gasps> Let me wake up. Get uh, get your ass up, Karen. Go get some hardwood. I'm just trying to get a squid, so I'm fishing a little bit late. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Oh. You're good. I'm gonna see if I can get hardwood and get back before the two a.m. pass out. Let's find out. Can she do it? I believe in you. Thank you. I'm gonna drink my espresso. Somebody should. Yes, drink the triple Not shot. drink the espresso, just, you know, believe in you. Oh. <laughs> you don't believe in me, Kendra? You don't believe? <laughs> I I do believe, but uh -huh. I feel like you might need more than me. Oh, okay. Nice save. <laughs> <laughs> that obvious? Mm. <laughs> Linus! Oh, I get the Linus cutscene. Yay! I love them. Which one is the... Are you on? Where he invites me to come stand next to his fire. Aww. Aww. They're all heartwarming, though. Yeah, the Linus cutscenes are the best. I love him. I had one where he yelled at me, but I deserved it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Since they won't let us romance him, I have to think of him like a father figure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The best the game Look, gives I can us. pretend that I'm romancing him, but it will never happen. Come inside. Yes, I will come inside your tent. And you will give me your recipe. 
I watched a video on YouTube yesterday that was like going through bad reviews of Stardew Valley, right? Because it's such a good oh. game. Like who would give it a bad review? And um, and one of them was literally like can't romance the homeless man. One out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I get it. I get that. Yeah, I, I get wanting to be able to romance Linus. Mm -hmm. He's so good. He's so good. Like, too good for us. Buddy, why do you stink? Andrew, you can't just ask people why they stink. Okay, we've got a hundred <laughs> hardwood now. Oh, God. Um, I gotta I look. That's probably enough. I'm gonna go to bed and then look up how much what we need for the house upgrade. I think we needed like 160 hardwood. Ugh. That's yeah, so many hardwood, Kendra's. Okay. I know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get a squid. I'm just going to come home. <laughs> You'll get one whenever, because we're going to do the um, night market. The night market's going to happen. Okay. This place, this today, so. Oh, that's guaranteed squid. You're correct. Yeah, yeah. So it'll happen during this stream. I can't remember. You have to look at the calendar to see which day, but it's during this stream. For sure, we're going to get it. I heard the I baby. Heard. There we go. Yeah. Waking up. He's got that the little just... gentlest angel coos. He does. Uh, it, it honestly is just because he's waking up. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, we need we need fifty k, which we have, and one hundred and fifty hardwood. So you are you are basically right, Kendra. It's one hundred and fifty. Woohoo! So a couple okay. more days of collecting hardwood because we can only get so many per day. Unfortunately, rudely. Mm hmm. Super rude. And I totally Can forgot. And so had... nobody in big collecting hardwood. Sorry. Go ahead, Kitty. How, have you always had the captain's hat on? I no, I put that. it on because so we, we won the um the fishing tourney. Oh wait, it's um there's a new recipe on the TV today. Ooh, that's right. Chocolate cake. Yum. I want some chocolate cake. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. Okay, starting tomorrow. Okay, so it starts tomorrow at 5 p.m. So not today, but tomorrow at 5 p.m. we got to go to the night market. Excellent. We go pet the cows. I'm going to do hardwood first thing so I do not forget. Right? <laughs> the spirits are neutral today. Oh. Is, do I have... Oh, yeah. I have neutral as well. There's our bunny. Let's see. Do you have anything yeah. worth a damn? No. I do not have anything worth a damn, lady. Generally, no. Yeah, she usually doesn't. But you always got to check because she might have your red yep. cabbage early. Which would be so nice. Yeah. But, but I don't. Well, it's not going to happen for us. We've tried, yeah. but it's not going to happen. We keep trying. They're just mm -hmm. making us wait. Rudely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, off of me slime. I know. God. How could they? How could they? I know. I know. So it, it like, rained. I don't quite understand. <laughs> it rained ever so slightly the other day. Oh my god. Too cute. Aww. Stop it. What? Big yawn. He really does have the cutest little baby noises. Big yawns. Hey. So it rained ever so slightly the other day, and I realized my tires were just completely bald. And so... Oh no. Um, yeah, we took the car this morning to get it, uh, to get new tires for it. Do you know how yeah. much a set of four tires costs nowadays? Which I have not bought a full set of four tires in a very long time. Obviously, we did not do much driving during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's been, uh, it's about been like many, many years. $400? <laughs> Girl, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. It does not cost about $400. I thought it was going to be about like $400, $500. No, it was seven hundred and seventy dollars to buy new. Excuse tires. me. Yes, you are excused. It was insane. I could not believe that it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, 
I was like, Hi, it's a what? <laughs> and, what kind uh, and he of goes, fancy yep. tires? No, they are regular fucking. This is a Kia Soul, okay? There's absolutely nothing oh, fancy about it. My goodness. Yes. Your goodness is right. I could not believe it. My mind was. Blown. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I do. They self inflate. I mean, <laughs> God, I they wish. Better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did we buy a pail? No. Mm -mm. Okay. I keep going back to the mines to level up. Okay, I'm gonna go buy. I'm gonna go buy us a pail. Relative then. mining skills. I understand. I checked so mining every skills chest. Are shit too. Yeah, I checked every chest last time, and yeah. it's just not here. It's in Landon's inventory. It's gotta be. That's the only place we haven't checked. So it's she either in loved Landon's milking. inventory. Yeah, she did. So it's either in Landon's inventory or we accidentally sold it. I'm pretty sure it's in Landon's inventory, and she cannot log into the game. So uh, we're just gonna buy another yeah. one. Yeah. I think you can't sell it, so it's got to be inventory. Okay, well, then it's got to be in her inventory. And she did love checking on the house, so. Yeah. Ow. Oh, you agree? Oh. You agree, Lucas, I know. Yeah, oh, big yawn. Goodness, I... My family is in town. Oh. And they had just a big, giant garbage bag full of clothes for Eliza. <laughs> <laughs> but in oh, there, nice. uh, yeah, just you know, hand me down dress up clothes from their neighbor who has like five kids. Mm. So, did her, she get stuff their... she likes? Oh, yeah, mm hmm. Uh, when we when she got it, it was just like, okay, time to try this on, time to put this on. Look, it's a Barbie dress. Look, it's this. Here's a jumpsuit. Here's this, you know, Christmas dress. Here, it's just. Like oh beautiful, God, fancy so fun. stuff. And it's great. I used to love the hand me downs it. my kids got. It's so nice. Because they grow out of stuff so fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They really do. And I feel like yeah. all the secondhand stores are the same price as new clothes now. So it's like. They are. It's not the yeah. steal. Nope. Not unless. Around here, they have. Um, like twice a year, they have a big kid and family like consignment co-op thing at the fairgrounds, mm -hmm. and that's nice. Um, that get some is good the deals steal. There. Yes, and you can also get furniture as well, Train. like Choo -choo. specific furniture. But oh my goodness! So one of the things they got though. Well, they decided that Eliza and Lucas needed Easter clothes, so they Easter got the clothes. matching Easter outfits. Oh my god, that's too cute. And you gotta post a is... picture when y'all get them in the Easter clothes. Oh, I did. It's in the... Oh, that's the, the... one! Okay, Yeah, it's that's the... the matching. And it's he's got a little, like, golf man hat. It's, 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 okay. and it's so cute. It is so cute. I didn't realize that was, like, for Easter. That's, I mean, technically, but I'm going to put them in it whenever I can. Are you kidding me? It's yeah, adorable. it's really, really fucking adorable. He's got I that little old man outfits. hat. Like, old man. Oh, he's just a little old man. Oh, he's just a little old man. A the train gave me man. 13 wood. That's not Yay. Really exciting. That's good because I just I mean, used I just used some wood to make us another keg. Yeah, we're gonna need wood for stuff eventually. Yeah. Um, there you go, buddy. I got some wood in the mines, which that's the one that gets me. I think I didn't come in here for wood. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. you get it anyway. Yeah, and grass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, kitty. Meow. Oh, hello. Can we be noisy? This is my noisy cat, so you're probably going to hear her. Oh. Can she hear I us, or is it just cats. headphones? It's headphones. Okay. Meow. Noisy cats make the world go around. It's true. Dang it, I missed it. It was 4 Hi. p.m. and I missed it. Oh, 
I know, buddy. It would just be really nice if you let me sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does right. he make you stand and bounce? Yeah, I just have to be standing. Does not like sitting. Like, well, that's fine, I guess. Get it together. She's allowed to sit, Lucas. Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Was that like his first word? <laughs> no. No. He just says, uh, uh, a lot. I don't believe <laughs> you. Practicing. I think he was responding to me. No, he was talking to me, Kendra. He was talking to I me. I have headphones on. He can't hear you. I, no, he heard me in his heart. He heard, he knew, he knew, and he was like, this will be very funny. I'm going to say, uh-uh. <laughs> he, I, you know, I want to put it past him, but, <laughs> but chances are. Lucas says his first word. <laughs> caught, caught live uh -uh. on stream. You have video of it. You can refer back to this at any time and you can be like, Lucas, you want to hear the first word you ever said? <laughs> you want to hear the first time you dunked on your mom? <laughs> Here oh, you God. go, kid. That was too funny. Too funny. Uh -uh. When does the night market start? <clears throat> tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow oh. at 5 p.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. I have no understanding of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, me either. Since the time change just really jacked me up with all that. Yeah. Oh, please don't do that. Oh, God. Do it. Do it, kitty oh, cat. I knew that the only choice I had was to have them um, crash my phone with the wires attached to it or oh, let no. it claw me as it squeezed out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, dear. That's okay. That's always Just a hard choice. Some claws. The pain stops eventually. Just a couple <laughs> claws. Not a big deal. <laughs> pain is temporary. It's true. Kitty's love is forever. Sorry. Okay, buddy. Wasn't Sif, like, merciless to you while you were pregnant? Uh, yeah, S she still generally is. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> uh, because I'm not, you know, constantly fighting throwing up, it's not as bad now. <laughs> you are hurting me. You gotta stop. Oh. Poor baby. Oh. oh, hey, I've leveled up foraging. Sweet. Oh, yay. Good. So y'all doing anything fun this weekend? Uh, this. This? <laughs> <laughs> this is your adult fun time break? This is my adult fun time break. <laughs> my sister's also... getting into town later with her boyfriend. Oh! So I get to, you know, hang out with her. That's cool. Yeah. What about you, Kitty? What are you doing fun this weekend? I'm doing March giving. March giving? Thanksgiving. Tell us all about March it. March giving. It's Thanksgiving in March. So yesterday we made green bean casserole. And today I have dough rising. And I made broccoli casserole. And I made homemade stuffing. I was like, mm. I'll just buy the box stuffing. But then I thought, no, I want it from scratch. So now you have to make it. Our boy mm -hmm. chicken hatched. <gasps> Yay, hey! boy chicken! And I just watered a chicken. <laughs> Good. Good. They don't hate bad. it. It's okay. Yeah, it's I love fine. March giving. Okay, so I remember you telling us about this last year, um, and it's so funny because in my uh, in my freezer we have, of course, a turkey from Thanksgiving because we get a whole bunch, you know, because um, it's really cheap around that time. But we have one that we haven't cooked yet, and we were just talking the other day about like when we want to cook this turkey, and uh, excuse me, considering cooking it soon, and uh, and it's so funny because I feel like. That happened at the same time that you told me about your March giving last year. Yep. I don't know. I, and I don't plan to have it the same time every year. But at the same time every year, I'm like, oh, I could really go for some turkey. Yeah, right. It's like the, it's been long enough um, since Thanksgiving. And it's kind of not quite spring yet. And it's like time to have some turkey. And as an American, I feel like we really reserve turkey for that one special holiday. So you don't get it. Unless you mm -hmm. have a second Thanksgiving. Because mm -hmm. the only other turkey we eat is like, you know, sliced turkey for sandwiches or whatever. We don't normally Ooh. eat like turkey otherwise. Mm -hmm. 
The turkey is turkey is really delicious when prepared properly. So I do use turkey leg when I make collard greens, and it is so good. Oh, I use smoked heck turkey. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We get the we actually do that too. Get those packs of the turkey legs, and it's like two of them, and um, mm -hmm. and we put them on the smoker for a bit, and oh my god, it's so good. Yes, better than the Ren Fair, I think, because theirs just sits too long. Yes, it does. It's when it's fresh, the turkey legs are really good. When you get them at the at the theme park or whatever, um, they're not fresh, so they're like kind of like blah, whatever. You guys just don't go to Washington Ren Fairs. <laughs> well, maybe they cook them fresh there. I I don't know. They yes, maybe or maybe it's like because I've had a fresh one, I know what it's like, and now I can't handle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a snob. <laughs> According to my turkey leg lover friends, they, they make them nice and fresh. Mm. Well, that sounds wonderful. I've only been to two Ren Fairs. I really like our local one, the Sterling Ren Fair. And we have mm. a whip guy. Jack oh, Zipper? Actually, I think he retired. We don't have oh. Jack the the Whipper, but we had Gosh. oh my god, I wish I can remember Miguel and Aww. oh my god, I can't remember his partner's name, um, but they're hilarious. They have a joke. I think it's been told before, but um, what's the difference between toilet paper and a shower curtain? What's the difference? What? Oh, so you're the one. Oh, do you get it? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> my goodness! No! Can you trick me? <laughs> You tricked me. Hi. I thought it was a joke, but no, it was me a joke. Too. I was the joke. What? <laughs> Rude. Kitty. And it makes me laugh every time because I'll always laugh about a butt joke. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, do How you? Dare okay. You. Speaking of bad butt jokes, um, <laughs> have you guys? Did you guys know <laughs> History of the World Part Two? Mel Brooks finally made it. It's a TV show now. I've been watching it. Yeah. It's pretty fucking funny. If you liked the, if you like Mel Brooks stuff, you should check out yes. the TV show. He still got it. He still got it, even though he's like ancient at this point. He was making videos, uh, maybe TikTok, with his son during the pandemic. Oh, it, really? He kills me. He kills me. Oh my god. <laughs> so we watched one episode of the TV show, and then it was like, ah. Oh. I have to go back and um, and watch the movie. So then we rewatched History of the World Part One, and um, oh my god, it's so funny. A lot of it's dated. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of it is like does not hold up, but a lot of it does hold up and is very funny. I feel like Robin Hood Men in Tights is a movie you can put on anytime, oh and I'll be sit. Okay, I'll sit down and watch it. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love Men in Tights. It's so good. And it just, I don't rewatch, watching this show makes me just want to like, oh, I should go back and watch like the producers and, um, and young Frankenstein oh. and, you know, some faves. Yes. Young Frankenstein had, I can't remember her name, but she was also a genius. I keep wanting to say like Claire. She was in Ponyo too. She's, I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know her that? name. I don't know her name. Florence, Sorry. Florence Leachman. Oh, Okay. And she's like a genius. I don't really um, know. I mean, she was in. I thought she was in Young Frankenstein. She might be the girl in Young Frankenstein. I don't know. I, have to look it up. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't know anything about her. Like this is a, a new name for me. I'm sure this is someone famous, but I just don't. I don't know. In Young Frankenstein, she is Frau Blucher. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> And what is she in Ponyo? She's what? She's one of the old ladies in the nursing home that Ponyo and oh. um, the boy Suzuki. Oh, I don't know his name. The little boy. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ponyo is not my favorite Miyazaki, so I've only oh, seen it I'm... once. Yeah, Ponyo, I, I couldn't get into. Which one is your favorite of all the oh. Studio Ghibli? Uh, um, I would why say do you for make me, me choose between my children. <laughs> <laughs> I would say for me, if I have to pick one, it has to be Princess Mononoke. Um, it's kind of like, uh, have you ever seen? Oh, what's the what's the other one? 
um shoot what's it called where like there's the the bugs it's like it's like environmentalist too but it's like there's like the uh, giant bugs Nausicaa. yeah nausicaa okay so like that one's pretty good too but princess mononoke is kind of like you know the all the ideas of nausicaa but grown up so it's kind of like a second mm -hmm. to me it feels like it's like a second draft of nausicaa and it's just so good and i i really love it and i really love um also mm -hmm. i know Lady Eboshi is kind of supposed to be the villain, sort of. But then when you watch the movie, like, no, she's not. She's actually like really sympathetic too. Um, and uh, and I just and I really like it. There's not really there's no bad guys in the movie, um, not really. Uh, thank you so much for the hydrate tap. So I don't know. I think I would have to say that one if I was picking one. I, I hadn't even heard of it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Um... You've not heard of Mononoke? Oh, I used the other or one. Nausicaa. Said. Oh, Nausicaa. Nausicaa. Yeah, yeah Nausicaa is yeah. an older one. It's still pretty. It's pretty good too. I, I think Laputa might be mine. Oh, that's an old one too, but that's good. Yeah. Okay, night market's just, open, guys. You know. I'm here fishing. I have a type. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same as Karen, the toxic boy? <laughs> uh, he. This is less about the boy, and more about the, you know, not post-apocalyptic, but post-apocalyptic. Like it's just a ancient society that was advanced, and someone is the key to finding it. Elliot, hello, my love. Uh, yes, I have come to visit you in the cold. You and your fancy hair. Hi, Harvey. Um, is it okay if I spend? I feel like I shouldn't spend a thousand dollars on fishing. That seems silly. No, I you forgot can. it costs that we much money. Yeah, we have extra. Yeah, we have. So, extra yeah, money. And we sold a bunch of mayonnaise today too. Oh wait, what is the? the I think I found the secret note for this. For the mermaids. Yes, one five four two three. The star doing goes awesome. Tap one five four two three. Okay, so one. Can I not do it? Listen. Do I, have to I think you have to like... wait until the mermaids are all done with their thing. Oh, so I have to wait till later. Oh, she's singing now. Yeah. And then there's I can a whole do it after show. That. And then. Buddy, if you want to go back to sleep, you can. Yeah, if we're going to talk, if we're going to talk, though, about, um, about best Miyazaki boy, obviously it's Howl. Yeah, like, uh, Howl is fantastic. So. I mean, oops. Yeah, no denying. I think everyone else is just too nice. <laughs> yeah, how's the best? I say. Okay, um, show is over, so I should be able to... One, yes, it lets me click it now. Five, hello. Arietti is always a fun... Okay. Oh, I got a right click, okay. One, five, four, two, three. Yay! Did it. Got my pearl! I don't know if we can all... Everybody gets their own... Gets a pearl, or how it works with the community farm, but I just got the pearl. Oh, I, I can try it after fishing. fishing. Okay. Well, I should probably go to the time, though, just to make the most of the thousand. Yeah, you should yeah. go for the whole... Just do it tomorrow. Because yeah, the, the night three market's day three days. Yeah. Nothing worth a dollar there. Yeah, you can go back to sleep, buddy. It's okay. Yes. I won't judge you. In fact, I will be very jealous. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tap, how have you been? Are you doing anything fun this weekend? We are having um, beef ribs. We haven't had beef oh. ribs in a while, but we're cooking mm. some beef ribs. I'm so excited. That sounds really good. I love ribs. Mm -hmm, oh my mm -hmm. gosh. That's so, so listen, I made ribs, um, like 
last month, I think. And they sat in the fridge for a week or two until I just didn't feel comfortable eating them. Yeah. And so I don't like to waste things like vegetables that are about to go bad or that went bad. I throw them in my backyard and I let the birds and the squirrels have them and they always mm-hmm. take them. Oh, so yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, crows eat meat. I know that. So I'll just throw the ribs out there. And then I got a message from my neighbors and they were like, um, just so you know, we've been seeing coyotes in the area and I don't know why they're <gasps> here, but um, oh. keep your animals inside. <gasps> Kitty, hmm. you brought the coyotes. <laughs> what? Whoopsie. Kitty. Oh my God, too like, much. Oh no. <laughs> you were like, that Everyone was supposed to be for birdies. <laughs> Oh, I guess you have to stop with the big things. It's got to just be small things. I yeah. mean, or no I meat. Bad yeah, no meat, no meat. Emptying a whole old thing of almonds outside for the crows, but now I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought coyotes in, so. Mm, and I hate to tell you this, but that's how I'm going to die. Because if I see one, I'm going to say, oh, he's a puppy. Well, from a I distance, one they on look the side like, of the freeway cute puppies but they're not yeah. they're terrible and it was on a danger dog yeah. how cute <laughs> okay okay sure. everybody's Good leaving the night market know. you guys so just so you're paying attention to the time if I... it gets really bad you can use the teleport we can spare the 250 it's okay i have a i know you're fishing with shane oh, oh. So now I'm drunk. It's fine. If I see a big cat, I'm doomed. I know, right? Tap? Yeah, me too. I mm-hmm. always want to pet them yep. if I go to a zoo or something. They're I'm just like, it's so just a cute. Big kitty, like it looks the same, just big. Yeah. Just some work. Doing a lot of streams when not working this weekend because Nix is out. Oh, I hope she's out doing something fun and not out doing work. I have got some really, speaking of which, I've got some really fun streams planned. I will tell you guys, you get the sneak peek first Yay. knowing um, my Stardew fam. All right. You know how last year we did the kitty cat birthday party? The purdy. Guess what? We're doing Yay. it again this year. Okay. Aww. We're going to do it again this year. Um, it's going to be n- next weekend on Sunday. We're doing the kitty cat birthday purdy. Oh, I love that you do that. It's so sweet. It was, I mean, I think it was like kind of Koneko's idea. I don't remember how it came about exactly. Um, but when we did it last year, I know Koneko helped me like name it and stuff. Oh, and so we're going to do it again. Yeah, I was right outside the cabin. No. I yeah, forgot how much, how much time the sub takes to go back to surface. Yeah, oh. it takes a while. I'm so sorry. But I leveled up my combat. Well, that's good. That's okay. <laughs> So it's yeah, it's going to be kind of like last year where we have, I'm going to have catnip for them so that they'll, you know, be coming in here and we'll have a pretty cheap channel point redeem to give them treats throughout the stream. We'll have Aww. party hats for the people that show up first. You guys can get party hats. And then um, we're going to be doing a first impressions of a kitty cat game called Catizens. It's a kitty cat um, city builder. I've never played it before. It's like an early, in early access. So we're going to experience That's so it. cute. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. I love the idea. I want to send you Meow Juana. Meow Juana? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's have some Meow Juana. <laughs> I won't Isn't get into Twitch for that. <laughs> oh, that's right. Would Twitch get mad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find Either out. Wait, are, wait, are we not really saying marijuana? What is miaujuana? I guess I it's should actually real. ask. It's, it's real. It's it's catnip that I don't think it has marijuana in it. Um, oh, but it's a brand of I, catnip. Yes. I thought you actually wanted to send me weed. I was gonna have to tell you no because that can, you can't do that in South Carolina. But <laughs> <laughs> see, I thought you were I thought talking about the silver vine. I just never heard of. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> any marijuana that comes from me is immediately meow juana so <laughs> yes i i don't think there's another way for that to be <laughs> okay wait so it's a so it's a brand of catnip okay tell me more um they sell it at pet smart <laughs> okay 
which I don't think is a licensed distributor, so it has to just be. Yeah, so it has cat-nip. to be just catnip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can totally um send me some kitty if you if you think it will get here before the thing. I'll uh, and you don't. I don't know if you have my address anymore, but you can totally send it, and we'll use that for the the birthday party if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll try to Amazon two day ship it to you because okay. I bought it and they <laughs> like it way more than regular catnip. It's like really. I don't know. Maybe more potent. I don't know. That's insane. I don't know. My cats prefer silver vine to catnip. So, what is that? You've got a good strain. It's, yeah, it um, <laughs> does the same thing, but a little more potent and more cats. I think are affected by silver vine. That's what I've it's heard. Just, We've never tried it with our cats. Yeah. I have no idea if they would like it or not, but I've heard that even cats that don't like catnip, a lot of times they'll like silver vine. Yeah, and we get the balls made out of the silver vine sticks so they can chew and get their teeth all clean. That's pretty cool. That's cool. <clears throat> um, I know, buddy. I don't know if I said this on stream before because it happened a while ago. But I planted catnip in the back of my yard because I have a lot of neighborhood cats that mm. love to come in my yard. Mm-hmm. And um, they love it. The deer love it. But I guess the- it's poisonous to crows. Sorry, oh. the deer love it? Yes, the deer love catnip. Okay. And um, the crows recognized it as poisonous. And I, they were making a huge fuss out there in that part of the yard. I didn't realize what was oh. happening at first. They were ripping it out of the ground to protect <gasps> themselves. Oh my, oh my god. Because they were I like, what if the stu- what if what if Bob the stupid one eats it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's probably what they were saying. That's probably what they were saying. They and were I've so had... worried about Bob the stupid one. <laughs> <laughs> they take care of each other and they hold grudges and remember things. And I've been trying to make friends with them for years. And I'm like, great, now it's never gonna happen. Because they saw me right. plant it. <laughs> oh, so they man. think you're trying I, to poison them now. They're like this tricksy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole reason why I dumped a bunch of almonds out in our yard. Was just like, please, crows. The crows where we live are like a third of the size bigger than any crow I've ever seen before. Chickens! They're so big. And I'm like, I just want these guys to be my friends. These prehistoric beasts. Please be my friends. Because they like look out for you. I don't hear static. I think Twitch does that sometimes, though, Tap, and I don't know how to fix it. If you know how to fix it, please tell me. Because I feel like that happens sometimes. That my audio comes through staticky on Twitch, and I, I just I have no Dang. clue how to fix it. Because I don't hear it. But like, it's Ghost. something to do with how how Twitch and Zoom interact. Oh. And I have Beautiful. heard it happen on other streams too, like not just mine. So it's Holy something to do with like, Zoom and Twitch. Oh boy! Oh my goodness! What happened? There's just a billion soot sprites and slimes all in one spot. Oh No, don't die! <laughs> you was... can do it! Oh yes, I did it, but it was like, wow. They all converged. Oh good, and now there's a bat. Okay. You sound fine, it's everyone else. Yeah, it's something to do with the way Zoom and Twitch interact, and I have no idea what to do. And like I said, I've heard it happen Twitch. on other streams too, and they don't seem to know what to do either. So I don't know what the heck it is because it does not sound staticky to me. Like on my computer, Zoom comes through fine, but for whatever reason, when Twitch hears the Zoom audio, it like adds static. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Voltron slime maybe it's would like, be terrible. Or maybe it's like OBS does it. It's not really Twitch. I really don't know. I just know it's really fucking annoying. Rude computer. Mm-hmm. It's super Ta-da. rude. <laughs> At least the slimes Never. don't Voltron into one big slime. True. Yeah, that would be <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> what if they did that in this game? <laughs> they kind um, of do. They would. Yeah, but the big slimes are different. They they divide into smaller ones. Mm-hmm. They also have um, the three stacked ones in the um, Q's mission. When the he oh, redoes yeah. the mines. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they did, it would just encourage monster folks. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. I already. I ship mean, it. 
there's plenty mm-hmm. of media there's plenty of media where the slimes yeah. do slimes do combine into bigger slimes slime combine and- <laughs> yeah you should make that mod tab do you know how to make stardew mods i don't know anything about it i just know how to download them yeah that's the extent of my skills yeah no oh boo it's Well, it's in our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we know the oh. truth. I know, buddy. I, oh, back on nails. Karen, yes. TikTok heard me talk about nails. Oh, no. Uh huh. So, because I was looking for, like, okay, well, how do I do this specific? thing because there's a nail shape that I really like Mm. that I just you know I know I want to be able to do with my natural nails so I was like okay is there a way for me to what are these little what are those nails that I keep seeing ads for where you put the goop in the thing and then you put the thing on your nail pull up goop stay I have no idea I have no idea what you're talking about. I have not seen it's, this. It's it's poly gel or oh, hybrid poly gel, gel. I guess. Oh, okay, okay, yes. yeah, poly gel. Okay, I do know what that is. And I and the thingies are poppets, apparently, mm-hmm. according to yes. the industry professional that keeps showing up on my for you page. Mm-hmm. Yes. So okay, now I'm I do like, know what you're okay, now. let's do that. I'm sure I can learn how to do this. I always think that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I can I can feel myself slipping into. I'm sure I can learn. You can learn. You just have to dedicate whatever amount of time you think you need to dedicate. It's more than that. Yeah, but you can learn. Mm-hmm. You can. Oh, Abigail, why aren't you at the night market? You're playing. There are different food. people on different days. The squid mission does not count towards Willie's mission, just so you know, or the oh, midnight right. squid. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. You have to get a regular. That was a squid. bummer for me. Yep. Rude of them. But yes, so watch. I blame you, Karen. You blame me? For this. You I can do, do it, yes. though. You can, though. You're like, you're right. You just I know. I'm, be more patient I'm than going to do it, but yeah. I'm blaming you for even thinking that I can be that patient. <laughs> Hold on, Eliza Lou. You can learn it um, with Eliza, like when, because you're, you know, she's interested in her nails, so you can learn the poly gel while she's just learning regular nails. That, oh my goodness, that. um, So I found out that this door locks. Oh. And I've locked it, and now she is real mad. Oh no. It's okay, you're working on getting her friends her own age, so soon she won't want to um, knock on your door. Oh, she's going to want to knock on my door no matter what. (laughs) Man, the other morning I was, you know, Lucas got up super early. Mm. And I got him back to sleep, you know, 15 minutes before Eliza woke up. Mm -hmm. So I finally was like, Matt, I've been up for hours. Need time for you to get up. Let me try to snuggle Eliza back to sleep. And she goes, no, I don't want to go with you. I want to stay with dad. (gasps) He's the best dad in the whole world. Oh my god. That's adorable. It is adorable. However, you know, let me get my nap in. Okay? I don't care what you do, just let me get a nap. My 5 a.m. nap. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of TikTok, my TikTok is absolutely covered with people making fun of the congressional hearing um, yes. and all of that. Have y'all seen this? Have you, do you know what it's I'm talking about when I say this? so funny. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. And embarrassed. I have like cringe watching it. Yes. It's the algorithms <laughs> is one the of my algorithms. favorites. algorithms. There's, Kendra, there's some <laughs> algorithms in my phone. Of course. Ke- Kendra, you know, Kendra. and <laughs> does TikTok connect to your home Wi-Fi network? Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what, Kendra, Kendra, if um if I leave my phone at home while I go to work, will it sleep with my wife? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is my for you page full of 
you know, dancing children and homosexuals. Why like, well, is why is my for you page full full of drag queens and femboys, Kendra? It couldn't possibly be because I like drag uh, drag queens and femboys, could it? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, and it can't be because you've interacted with that content. <laughs> it's weird. contradictory to their own question. Like either it's collecting all the data to know your every thought, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. you don't know why it's on your page. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I it collects all your data to know your every thought, unless it tells on them. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. come on, guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Yes. <laughs> You you need to pick a struggle. Just pick I one. Can't, I can't. So like when this first started dropping, right? Like the day that it that it aired and everyone started making fun yeah. of it like instantly. Um, of course, me and Levi started watching all the TikToks, right, and sharing them uh-huh. or whatever. And it was a yep. little bit like you know there was a lot of people posting about how like oh Mark Zuckerberg like fed them all their questions and da 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 da. This is like Facebook money, whatever, whatever. It was kind of like you know is that yeah. the whole story? Is that really the whole story? But then like the more we kept watching and. A, Eventually, of course, like we kind of seen the whole thing, you know, eventually. Um, so yeah. even though I didn't watch it, I ended up seeing everything on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know what? Now I think like maybe Mark Zuckerberg really did write the questions for them. Like the questions are just so fucking stupid and they don't even know what they're asking. Like, did you see the one lady who was like reading her question and she couldn't even read her own handwriting? She didn't even know what she GPS was. Her question was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she had no uh-huh. idea. She could not remember what her question was supposed it's to be. It's so funny. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. And it came out that a lot of the people against it have stock in Meta. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yes! The funniest part, though, is that a lot of these questions are the same questions that Congress asked in the Facebook hearings. Yes! Yes! And I'm like, guys! Guys! It's ridiculous. Did you learn nothing? No, they learned absolutely fucking nothing. Hi, Lunar, by the way. Um, I hope you have so much fun at the concert. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. So, like, of course, now, like, that's all that's on my TikTok. And it's it's it, it's very fucking funny. So I keep watching them. Um, it's so Because the algorithm is giving me what I would like to see. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I, man. So I get a lot of, like kindergarten stuff and like te- parent stuff but mm. there's this ex-teacher who you know had a baby and retired from teaching who was a kindergarten teacher and she does a lot of you know kindergarten at the white house oh. where she'll just respond to like news stories like pretend that she's in a conversation with whatever you know wild thing whoever in the press junket is saying and just uh-huh. respond to them like she would respond in her classroom <laughs> oh my god and it's, like the oh, way she would respond goodness. if a five-year-old asked a stupid question yeah be- she- yes because it's like uh-huh yeah oh oh you're worried about it accessing I made it. 10 minutes and I, made it. I did not make it i in oh, the no in the yard oh no at least you passed out on the farm too yeah no, I was right before you go into the farm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so but sorry. But I leveled up on fishing. It's because I gave H- Willie the squid. Oh. On my way up. I see. Rude. Shouldn't have done sorry. it. Sorry. Shouldn't have done it. Should have waited. Shit happens. He can. Yeah. It's fine. Not a big deal. It's not a. Yeah. We've. I love that we all wake up <laughs> in the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. In preparation for losing TikTok, which seems to be what's going to happen. Yeah, I think they I are going to through... ban it. Like, I really do. Eh, it's just going to be PN. I went through all my saved TikToks and um, ended up getting distracted into <laughs> making air dry clay. Because I always oh, yes. thought I could. I love those. Good. I love air dry clay videos. Yeah, and then they made like little castles out of jars. And I was like, I have jars. I have clay. Oh my god. It's like the death of TikTok, and you know, you like spend all the time you can with them before you have to put them yep. to sleep. Yep. But I'm not really worried. Like, if they do ban TikTok and it causes it to die or whatever, like, someone's just going to make a TikTok clone. Like, the the, the mm-hmm. content, the type of um, format is just too popular. Like, someone yeah. else is going to come in and be like, here's new TikTok. It's called Blick Block now. And it's exactly the same. Like, well, that's going to happen. Zuckerberg yeah. was hoping that reels would be that for him, and everyone just mm. hates him. Yeah, except his reels suck. 
He did yeah. not make a TikTok clone. He thinks he made a TikTok clone, but he didn't. Except Facebook sucks. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. sorry. I would never. It doesn't matter. They could kill all other social media. Like, Twitter could, Twitter and TikTok and I like and Reddit, all of them, all of them could die, and I would never go back to Facebook. It is the most toxic, Zuckerberg. disgusting place. <laughs> Zuckerberg. Yes. Yes. No. I'm. I would never I go won't. back. Never. It's I, awful. The only reason I have it is because that's the only way that I get updates from Eliza's school district. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Gross. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's I hate that's it. it. I, that is why I have it. I did. I got rid of mine towards the beginning of the pandemic. And I will never, ever go back. Like, and I spend a lot of time on Twitter, and I will tell you, still, the mm. most disgusting place I have ever seen on the internet is Facebook. Like, they never mm -hmm, yeah. serviced me anything that I wanted to see. It was all just, like, annoying shit in the same 10 accounts that I interacted with, quote, unquote, the most over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Yeah. I would, I've been seeing other people say this on TikTok. I would rather go back to MySpace. Agree. I would love to go back to I MySpace, would go back actually. To that MySpace. sounds great. You know what I would probably actually do? I would try, I would actually try to put forth an effort, because I keep doing this, then I don't really put forth the effort to make it happen. I would probably try to go back and revive my Tumblr for myself. You know, yeah. no TikTok. It's, Tumblr's been a fun place for me, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. But that is just because, uh, you know, like you follow... I follow the tag for Dungeons and Daddies, mm -hmm. and then I just, you know, follow fandom olds, so people my own damn age. An edgy black and green lightning themed MySpace page that just blared Linkin Park. Fuck yeah. We, we, can yes. do that. we can make the internet great again, you guys. We can do it. Got to. <laughs> make the internet great again. <laughs> I wasn't sure where people would go, but I knew it wasn't going to be anything meta. So I made a no. Tumblr account. <laughs> meta looks like so it's can... garbage. Nobody wants shitty second life. We already have no. regular yeah. second life. We don't need shitty exactly. of second life. Stupid. It's ridiculous, honestly. I will not. I only have Messenger, so I can keep in touch with a few friends. Yeah, tap um, towards the end of my Facebook, like the past maybe year and a half that I actually used Facebook, I literally would just open Messenger and that was it. And then I even got rid of that because it was just too much. Hello, Lucas. He I says forgot he any hates Zuckerberg copper. too. Yeah, it's like, I don't like you talking about Facebook, Mom. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Facebook bad. It's true. Facebook's so bad. I hate that Oculus uses oh. meta log and stuff. I agree. That's I think that ridiculous. More people would adopt Oculus if they would get mm -hmm. off, off of meta. Yeah, That's I just don't like having to log belief. into every single thing. Yeah. Like, you don't need to have everything connected. Right, you really Stop don't. Stop it. There's right. no reason. And they deliberately run down your battery by operating um, beta software on your phone actively mm -hmm. so they can test things out mm -hmm. so anytime yeah. you're using facebook or instagram on your phone your battery is going to die quicker mm -hmm. yeah. that's also I just... why i barely use instagram like it, instagram used to be pretty good but since facebook bought it it fucking sucks okay, yeah, we that almost is have when i hardwood. stopped using it we almost have enough hardwood to upgrade the house um tomorrow we should have enough if i remember to go chop oh yay we have 147 right now we need 150 so we'll get an, we'll be able to oh. do the upgrade tomorrow yes Fantastic. Debating Hello, trying, trying to root friend. mine to get rid of it. I do not blame you. I do not blame you. But yeah, like the main social media I use now is honestly Discord, which is barely a social media. It's like a bunch of chat rooms, you know, yeah. and then Twitter. Um, Gosh, and then I, oh. that's it. And you almost lost I, Twitter too. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like we're going to. I feel like we're still going to. Like, I'm, my my so fucking for you, the for you page on Twitter is absolutely bonkers, ridiculous. It's disgusting, I and I they cannot, keep switching yeah. me over to it. I keep switching back to following, and they put me back on for you. Mm -hmm. It's like no, I only want to browse for you after I've like hella browsed my following, and then maybe I'll check it a little bit to see if there's new accounts I want to follow. But most of the yep. time, the the new accounts that I see on there, like the things that are on there that are not on my friends list, is like garbage stuff. It's like actual, you know. Because I post and talk a lot about like being against aunties and um, and uh, and things yep. like that. And so you know what? So on you my see a lot of anti-aunties. It's fucking aunties yes. all over my for you page. I don't want to see that shit. 
I don't want to see it. My block list has gotten so big, and Twitter, I'm waiting for Twitter to say, you need to stop reporting people for hateful yeah. conduct. Yeah, and I never, because and I'm I like, never used to block I'm going to keep doing had, it. Yeah, I never had any need to block people before. Never. I never right? bothered blocking people because it wasn't necessary. But now I actually have mm-hmm. to block people because otherwise they keep popping up on my For You page. Yep. So I mainly use Discord and Twitter as well. Now. Twitter's probably going to die. I think Meta will follow. I totally agree, Tap. They laid off yeah, a lot of people. Meta's yeah, Meta's going to die. Yeah, Meta's totally going to die for the same reasons that Twitter's going to die. They don't have enough staff to keep up with it. You're 100% mm. right, Tap. It's dead in the water, honestly. Mm-hmm. They don't have enough staff, and they're not creating a product that people want to use. Yeah, they're not going to tolerate it. They're not going to tolerate, you know, they're not going to tolerate the Wild West because m- most people do not actually want to browse 4chan all the time. And if every social media becomes yeah, 4chan-esque, weird. they're going to run off mm-hmm. most of the population. You know, we don't all yep. want to live on the something awful forums. We don't. I see. Gosh. I love to complain about stuff. I get that. But I also am a lot happier not engaging with stuff that I will complain about. Right? Like, you know, you know I don't weird. want to see that crap. I don't go searching it out because I know it's going to make me mad and I don't need to be mad. Right? Well, that's what that's the way Facebook operates. They need you to stay mad so that you'll keep scrolling. And I, yep. I wonder if he just feels like Twitter will be the same. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what I'm I think thinking. exactly that's the same thing. It's yeah. outrage farming is all yeah. it is. I'm going to miss TikTok because I like getting news from there. I kind of like getting news from there, too, because I get like little bites of it because I can only handle mm-hmm. so much news. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it gets a little overwhelming for me. Um, so I don't really like to sit and watch the news or sit and read the news because it just is just too much for my fragile mm-hmm. little brain. Um, but if I can it, get it within like three to five minute bursts on TikTok, then it's not so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Under the Dex News is one of my favorites. I love yes, their I coverage. Like them. Yes, I like them. <clears throat> and I'll miss them. Mm-hmm. But I guess if I, we have no TikTok, I would just go back to watching Philip DeFranco like I used to. That's probably mm-hmm. what I would do. Yeah, Tap says it, they love them too. Yeah, everybody loves them. <laughs> They're good. It seems like this is what's going around on my TikTok right now is I'm seeing a lot of people say like, okay, well, if it's banned in the U.S., here's how to, you know, change where your phone oh, thinks like you're VPN from. around it? Yeah. I here's how to VPN. do that. You can. So I don't you don't know have would... to lose stuff. Yeah. I don't know if I would bother, though. Like, I never invested a lot of my content creation in TikTok. I, I tried. I just wasn't very good at it. I couldn't do it. Like, mm. I'm just too long-winded. I can't handle it. Um, so, Fair. and I just don't have the time to put forth the effort to whittle myself down. Um, yeah. So, like, I just never did. But, uh... I'm just so not I'm, funny enough. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the problem. Like, I'm just not fast enough in that way. Oh, my God, I keep missing the boob because I'm talking too much. Karen, concentrate on fishing. But, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I, I, w- I miss... I would miss, you know having tiktok as a social media i can browse when i'm bored but that's all i really miss mm-hmm. yeah it's, under the desk news know. has a youtube channel oh yes. okay so i mean we could still follow them if tiktok goes away i didn't know they had a YouTube. yeah uh most big creators will have a youtube at least yeah i think that is they true. also have other places to find them I, like, I will probably fish. go find, you know, Casey Davis yeah, because I enjoy her content on, you know, maintaining your peace with mm. neurodivergency. Oh, that's nice. And it's been a, go- a really helpful, you know, reframe your brain instead of cleaning, you're resetting your space because everybody deserves a functioning space. That doesn't Taking make you feel some like of the like, guilt yeah. out of it. You know, really, what's um, what's helped me clean is having enough money to have the tools to to do it. Like, you know, having a Roomba and things like that. Now, yeah. cleaning's not a big deal. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> literally just that, just having the right tools. Oh, I want having a Roomba the right tools sometimes. Roombas are amazing. I highly recommend. I know it's like kind of expensive and it seems frivolous, but it's like worth every penny. I would. I bought multiple Roombas, and I will continue to buy Roombas until you know, as they die. Do you have the ones that mop and sweep? 
I've seen no, those I just those have awesome. Mm -mm. I just have the vacuum one. I don't mop. I don't mop. I know that's gross, but oh well. Yeah. I can't do everything. Gross for who? It's your house. Do what you yeah, want. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody has to know. Nobody notices. It's not like we don't spot clean, you know, if something gets stuck on the floor. Like, we do that. I just don't yeah. ever, like, overall mop the floor. Man, I guess uh, I'm not eating a sandwich on your floor, then. Well, I wouldn't recommend that anyway. We do have four cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got one as a wedding gift. What an amazing wedding nice. gift. Nice. That's perfect. That's a great wedding gift. Yes. I love my I... Rainbow. Oh, man. My hair I thought he is was saying just a cat. too long for I was a like, Roomba. wow. <laughs> I cats used to be wedding gifts. Yeah. Really? That's pretty yeah. cool. It was a tradition in like Nordic countries back in the you know, eight hundreds mm -hmm. to gift a bride a kitten. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the Norwegian cats with their huge beards yes. and manes? I love mm -hmm. those. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful. They're so 90 good. Ninety percent of my floors are hardwood, and we have the Marvin who likes to track stuff in from outside. So we try to mop once. Every oh yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. If you have animals <laughs> that go outside, it it makes a lot of sense to mop. Yeah, I mean, and our cats only go on the patio. They don't go into outside. Outside. Yeah. I want to oh. make a cat enclosure. My cats love outside so much, but I can't take them outside. Mm hmm. I, although yeah. I do have a cat yeah. stroller. Oh, do adorable. they get in it? They do. <gasps> I've never. Why have I never seen a picture of your cat in a stroller, Kitty? I've I've got to post one. My favorite is the yeah. first time we took it, them out. Um, we were walking on a nature trail, me and my best friend. Um, it was our cats on a joint play date. Oh my god! And some man on the trail decided to get his face into the stroller as if um, it was a baby, like he could just oh no. do that anyways. Oh, he didn't and know. Then, <laughs> And I then hate he got that. up and screamed and he said, ah. <laughs> and I was like, well, I... <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. Don't stick your face in people's things. Gosh, it was yeah. okay. <laughs> so I say that. And then I took, I ended, I'd never take both kids to the store with me. If I can avoid it, I never take the kids to the store with me, period. Occasionally I have to take Lucas. But I, understand. I ended up. For, you know, reasons, we just had to go grab some medicine real fast from Walmart uh, yesterday or the day before. So I had both kids with me. Lucas is in the car, in his car seat. Eliza's, you know, pretending to push the cart, but riding along. And then I'm pushing it behind uh -huh. her. And this old, like, old, old man stops and he goes, oh, you know, just aren't you so pretty to Eliza? And she's like, thanks. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm instantly on alert. Like, oh, what God. are you doing? And he mm -hmm. looks and he goes, and your baby's so cute too. You know, you have such a hard job. You're doing great, mom. <laughs> and I was like, oh, 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 nice save, nice save, dude. <laughs> this is not an interaction I was expecting at all. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> yeah, night. Mm -hmm. oh, did I miss recipe yesterday? Damn it. Yeah. Is it usually. It was... Well, it's not every day. Woman. It's not every day. It's Wednesday. Let's see who my secret Thursday. friend is for the. I got George for the Feast of the Winter Star. What do we think George would like? George? Think... Does he like leeks? Yes. Yeah, but we don't have any leeks or anything like that. Maybe I'll give him some milk. Let me go get some milk from the cows. There's milk. Right, we do that. have a thing of wine that I was I think I sold in it. the chest. Oh. He likes I... coffee. I well, have a coffee. Because we'll get more wine, so I went ahead and sold it. He likes coffee, you said? Yeah, and I got one. I can give it to you if you don't have it. That would be awesome. I do not have any coffee. Um, it's just because you're cool, Tap. That's it. Yeah, you're awesome. Everybody loves you. I know. Uh, That's why. Oh, I just saw the, this thing pop up. The no. request videos to play during the BRB screen. Okay, so I changed up my BRB screen, you guys. And you can now like put videos in to play during it. Um, I've got I it love like that. anime songs and, um, and silly videos right now. But if you want to watch certain things during the BRB... Um, I've got it. I've got it. You can do it. I think my secret friend is Mayor Lewis. Wait, where are you at, Kitty? Where are you at? I have Sebastian. I'm coming back to the cabins. Oh, okay. Our void chicken so has grown up now. My heart jumped when the sound played. Yeah, yeah, when I have OBS open, but I'm not live yet, and I get a notification for something, I jump too. It usually follows, though. <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> what the heck? Why is that sound going off? 
I put it in the chest. In, in uh, where the furnaces are. Where the furnaces so can, are. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. I'm headed that way. I'll just keep it in my inventory for for Mr. George. Who did you guys get? Mayor Lewis. You got Lewis. Yeah. Mm hmm. Too bad you can't give him Marnie. Oh. Uh, too bad for Marnie. Marnie <laughs> deserves better. What'd you get, Kitty? Agree. I have Sebastian. <gasps> oh, you got a good one. I don't know. He's Rude. not my type. He's not my type. He's no. Like, I'm gonna get him something he doesn't choice. like. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's like my second wow. choice, so I I'm for it. He's my my uh, goth boyfriend. He wants a potato or jade. Oh, I had a fish taco and I put it in the chest. Yeah, I saw it. it. I saw it in there. It was a trash taco. Oh, it was a trash oh. taco. Oh! Kitty, you and your trash food. I love it. It's very <laughs> cute. Someone's mm -hmm, telling me there's funny. a new trend on TikTok that it's they're calling dumpster diving something different. And I was like, oh, that's dumpster diving. Yeah, that's great. Like, especially if you know where to go, where they just throw away brand yeah. new things because they have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what they would call. I don't know. I I, I have no idea. Dumpster what diving, they would call redneck it. shopping. I've I've we've called it redneck neck shopping before, but I think that's a, a southern thing to call it that. It and redneck is. shopping doesn't mean just dumpster diving. It also means like riding okay. around the neighborhood and like people like if people puts a piece of furniture or electronics or something on the curb to take his yeah. trash, it's you taking it home and trying to repair it. So it's that too, redneck shopping. I know was, someone texted to me. I just got to see what they said it was called. Hmm. I don't know when they added the feature where you could search for text, but that's they want to kiss that person. Yeah, yeah. You used to not be able to search in texts. Um, it's really nice. Um, she says they're calling it freegan, like vegan, but F R E. Oh, but freegan. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I guess they're trying to All gentrify right. dumpster diving. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah, sure. Wh whatever. Yeah. I guess Why so. Why not? <laughs> that's okay, you that's guys, what we you want to do. We can finally go upgrade the basement. So I'm going to Yay. get that. Good. I have a quest with Pam that I would love to have some meat or something like that. Yeah, you need pale ale for her. Yep. I have it too. I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> Love that you can donate a chewing stick. Robin. Thank like you. Let's upgrade the house. Yes. You're welcome. I have a chair. Okay. Did, did, did you guys know there's rewards at the museum? Yes. Oh. I picked up all my rewards. The chair was the last one we got. Okay. Then I think I've got it. Okay. Yay, more oak resin. We can make another um, keg. Yay! Yay, resin. We need more kegs. Oh, shoot. Mind your business. Oh. Evelyn! Evelyn, mind your business. <laughs> like, it's okay. Let people, you know be oh, environmentally wait, we don't have friendly wood and it's winter okay well whatever i just put it in the chest and i guess we'll make one when it's spring again does the tree don't have enough wood grow? no we only have 28 woods uh, did you look in the other chest by the greenhouse yes that's where i found the 28 oh wood. that's where I, I think that's the only place we have it but Weird. i might be wrong thought we had more than 28 in there yeah, we did. I made a, a keg, but and I was oh, gonna go make another. Okay. But yeah, you're right. We did once upon a time. Okay. <laughs> like, hold on. You're not this going crazy. Sound right. You're not going crazy. Is I used it. What am oh, I, what am I okay. For? Oh, the calendar. Ooh. Okay, so I got the ghost fish. There we go. Must be my lucky Sebastian day. Okay, so stuff. now that now that we've done that, I know we need to upgrade. I, th I think we must have a fully upgraded coop because we got a rabbit in there, but we must need to do another yeah. upgrade for the barn. I think the barn is the one that needs the upgrade. 
Okay, yeah, because we only have cows in there. Let's see how much the barn upgrade is. Or we didn't buy something because we were... Or we didn't buy the pig because it's not going to find any truffles right now. Yeah, but I think we also didn't upgrade the barn. So I think we got to upgrade the barn and buy the pig. And we were like, well, why? It's winter. Yeah. So we started working on the house. That's Basement. the way I remember it anyway. I mean, okay, I have so no we idea. Need, we do need lots more wood and stone. We need 550 wood and 300 stone. We have a lot of stone. But I don't think we're yes. close to that amount of wood. So we're going to need to get some wood whenever um, spring rolls around. Okay, Isn't okay. the enchanted forest if you... Oh, we, someone has to have a good axe, though. Yeah, we or don't know. Have have I guess we can go upgrade tools. Um, I mean, it's 420, yeah, I mean, so we can't today. But I, I have the um, steel tools. So I think that was iron. So I think I, I, I can make mine gold. Yeah, I'm still all on copper. Okay, you should probably uh, do some of this the steel upgrades. We have plenty yeah, of time to do it. Um, do we? I gotta yeah. take an iron bar to Clint. Yeah, we, we yeah, but should we have, have like 30 odd. I'll be, right, I'll be right back. I have to pee. No problem. Okay, two seconds. Um, Karen will be back. I changed my cat food, speaking of pee, to... I wanted to give them a high quality cat food because I was doing dry food and wet food. And yeah. I was like, I'm just going to get them a high quality wet food so I can have a gravity feeder. And mm -hmm. so I did research and I was like, okay, I'll spend some more money on this fancy brand. And they're peeing so much and they're like desperate oh for water the moments they eat. And I was oh. reading that that could be a sign that it's affecting their kidneys. Yeah. So I was like, well, I guess that's not the way to go. Not that one, at least. Yeah, I was going to get, uh, like, a kidney care cat food that mm. is, mm -hmm. I mean, it's already, it's all expensive when you buy the high-protein stuff, but yeah, um, it's low-sodium, and it's meant to be gentler on them. That'll be nice. Okay, I'm back. Ah! I know, that was fast. Uh -oh. I'm so speedy. Haha. <laughs> speedy. So, I think, um, I think, uh, speedy. any... <laughs> <laughs> don't be jealous of my um <laughs> of my strength strength of my pelvic floor muscle <clears throat> oh, listen i'm just doing so many pelvic floor exercises now that i've you know cleared after my surgery mm. fantastic get back where i was because i lost all my progress Shit. fuck you slime you don't rude <clears throat> So, Kitty, so long as you don't become one of those people that pretends like you feed your animal a gourmet meal every night, you know, with the video on TikTok, then you can feed oh. your cats whatever, right? Oh <laughs> people those are really, so annoying. People really are out there pretending that they do that every single fucking night. I'm like, no, that's like a fancy Sunday dinner that you filmed for TikTok. You do not mm -hmm. do that every day for your dog, I swear to God. I actually know somebody who did. Yeah, and they probably are like stay at home. They maybe have like one kid and so they have the time or they like have a, a you know really good job that they make a lot of there's like extenuating circumstances. Normal people do not do this. No. I they show their dog. No, yeah, so that's like, why they do Let me so, see your house too, yeah, exactly. from the diarrhea yeah. they get from it. <laughs> right? Like there's no way. I, like I know if I eat a meal like that, what it does to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, no, yes. it's it was wild to see because I was like, "What do you mean this is real life that you actually excuse me?" But if they show and, their dog, that yeah. makes sense though, because then like the dog is part of their income, and like, yep. So of course they feed it like that. Like that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once in a while, I'll do a special like treat for them for a holiday. They get the giblets from a turkey, for mm -hmm. instance. That's what we do. But we have um poor Oreo, <laughs> or he's not. Oh, this lady eating. I thought he was in here. Poor Oreo. We call him Catistic. He has Aww. serious <laughs> issues with um food textures. He mm. only wants food in pellet form. If it's not like in like a kibble type of form, he will not eat it. It does not matter what it is. Like this boy will not eat chicken. Okay. Wow. He will not eat chicken. Um, he only wants food in pellet form. So he loves his kibble. He loves cat treats. But if it's not like a pellet form texture or sh and shape, he will not eat it. That is really strange for a cat to like not yeah, want meat. 
Right. And he does other stuff that's like kind of like he's the where it's like, Oreo, you're a little off, aren't you? So we call we call him catistic because <laughs> like he literally you know, when you when you look at like lists particular. of autistic Yeah, when you look at like lists <laughs> yeah. of autistic diagnosis or whatever, I'm like, Oh, mm-hmm. Oreo does all of those. So you're well, saying your cat too. is me. I think he is, Kendra. I think he is just like you. <laughs> Honestly, only he's a cat, so he's like really kind of dumb. I, but you know, but I, like listen, all of his weird. I'm quirks, a cat too. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. That's my I big secret. Sm- no, I think you're. I'm than secretly Oreo. a cat. <laughs> I want to put it. I want to, you know, sometimes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He Gosh. will not eat things unless they are in pellet form. And the other day, Matt was with me when I went to go get coffee. Taps a cat too. I'm sorry, I totally cut you off, Kendra. Go ahead. No, you're fine. He went to the coffee stand with me, which is something that I only do when we're visiting my in-laws. And we were on our way to the parent-teacher conference, and it was going to be great. And I go, and there were you know three cars in front of me on the way. And as I go to drive in, and it's one where you can go on either side, I drive by and I go behind the three cars and Matt just looks at me and he's like, why didn't you go to the other side? And I, because there were no cars on that side. And I looked at him and I was like, I didn't even consider not going the way that I always go. Shoot. What do you mean? Mm. I could have turned there. (laughs) Excuse you. (laughs) Why would I do that? (laughs) <laughs> that is not the routine here. I always turn here. Oh my and god. And that is when I realized, oops. <laughs> yeah, you just you just I, did an mm-hmm. autistic there. That's that's what we call doing doing a little autistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh I didn't think I was so set in routines. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> like, but it's it's, normal. it takes less mental energy, especially I'm it sure does, most of the time yeah. you're doing that like in the morning or whatever. So like uh-huh. you know, big mood, I understand. I, well, I'm not gonna go do anything. Okay. Void chicken is very happy laying lots of eggs. Yay! We get lots of void mayo. Yes. I love that for us. Void mayo is delicious. So is dinosaur mayo. Mm, the dinosaur egg is about is in the. It's probably incubator. got a while, huh? Yeah. But it's in there. That's good. So we're working on it, at least this time. And we have to remember the first dinosaur egg it lays to take it to the museum. And then after that, we can start making dino mayo. Yes. I did the one where you sell 15 of every crop to get a badge. And that took forever. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that one does take forever. Yeah. I thought about getting tested for ASD and ADHD, but... The place my doc referred me to does not do testing, not not do ASD testing mm-hmm. for adults. I've heard that before because yep. the diagnostic criteria are so different for adults and kids that a lot of places just do not do the adult it's, one. Um, and if you can make any sort of eye contact, good luck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I or if you're a woman. In, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, man. For ladies, it's real hard. I mean, I told you guys about my experience. Yes. Right, where within yes. five minutes the doctor goes, "There's no way you can be autistic." Mm-hmm. Like, Except it, that well, you explain this binder, <laughs> explain all of these things that I do and have done that are only autistic traits. Said, no, you're so expressive. Well, thanks, lady. <laughs> Fuck you. Do your job. I also yeah, like, think come like. On. And I also question for a lot of adults, like I'm sure for a lot of people, like it would be really helpful to get a diagnosis. But I also Mm -hmm. think for a lot of adults, the truth is, is getting a diagnosis would be more harmful than helpful, even if you do have it, because it's like, oh, now people get to put you into the autistic box and like in work situations. And you don't really want that at work. You know, like, let me just tell you, you don't really want that at work. I don't think it's... (laughs) It would be nice to have, for my own peace of mind, the yes. official diagnosis, and for the, you know, disability protections. Mm. Yeah. But it's come to be like, well, you know, I won't be able to move out of the country if I'm ever able to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a lot of 
like, well, you know, I can't do that. And then, well, what if something happens to Matthew? It's and yeah, I don't want to lose my kids. Yeah, it's it's almost just, like it's like a double edged sword. Yeah, like it would be For nice, sure. but at this point, like, no, it's probably. But, oh, why am I in here? I need to go to Clint. You yeah, just I just didn't. Clint. I just yeah. did an upgrade for myself. Apparently, I never upgraded my watering can. It's still copper, so I need to get the steel oh. one too. But I just did. I just did the gold um, pickaxe. So I'll have that. That'll be nice. Oh, you're snoring now. Oh, I love baby snores. Yes. I've had years to develop these skills to fit in, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm like for adults. I'm. I'm. I'm not. Uh, convinced that it's like as useful as a kid getting a diagnosis you know for most people. yeah it oh man at this point it's like my hyper focus was theater like what do you mean mm -hmm. i'm expressive of course i'm expressive you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ridiculous <laughs> so. and they don't take into account the fact that you've had to mask your whole life in a mm -hmm. lot of situations yep yep Exactly. Um, I also saw that 92% of autistic women have PMDD. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. I was like, wow, that is a high number. That is that is a serious correlation. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, this also makes sense. Okay, that's why this. Just learning more about it. I'm like, all right. Can't that's... deny some of these things anymore. I had no right. idea what it was. And the first time I went to the doctor for PMDD, um, he prescribed oh. me Xanax for hysteria. It, really? Excuse me? Hysteria? Yep. He said it That's was, he literally help. used the word, the women's hysterics. And oh gave me, and I was like, bye, you're never going to see me again. I didn't yeah. even Thanks know that was Xanax, a thing doctors said anymore. I've ne I can't believe it. That's the heck. wild. Yeah, it oh was a while goodness. ago. It was like before I had... Um, my middle child mm. so still still that was not yeah. i mean that was a while ago but that was not long enough ago that a doctor should have been diagnosing hysterics <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah we're not in the 1800s yeah and this is real. new york too like this is a pretty liberal area mm. yeah no yeah, i would not that. expect to find that in new york even like 10 years ago or whatever you know yeah oh boy I love the castle levels of the mine. The music is just so chill. That's true. I say as I have a child slamming full body against the door. <laughs> um, she did attention oh in my a minute. Only she has minutes. plenty Gosh. of attention from my mother-in-law. Like it, oh, it's, she just—it's not good enough because it's not. It's just because I'm in here. Uh huh. How dare you not also give her attention? Yes, um, because there's a closed door. Uh, did I? Okay, so the ADHD testing with Eliza came back, mm -hmm. and she scored two points under where they would suggest medication. Oh. Two points. That's really gross. Are you kidding so me? what does that mean? Does she need, like, some kind of talk therapy or something? Or Is she's she on do? the wait list for occupational therapy, which was... Okay the plan from the beginning because she's not six yeah. and we wanted to start with OT anyway mm -hmm. but I'm sitting here going it would just be really nice because I know there's an ADHD medication that helps with sleep yes. mm -hmm. and all of the research that is she throwing stuff at the door right now all of the research that I've been looking at it seems like that would be the most helpful medication for her mm -hmm. because she does not sleep Mm, yeah, that's, that's what's happening with my son. He has ADHD and yeah. bedtime. Uh, there was nothing I could do to let him go to sleep except just mm. be awake with him. Yeah, until medication. And she she just won't stay asleep, and she wakes up at three or four regularly, ready to go. And she doesn't know how to just like sit quietly. Like she just can't do that. So she, she just gets up and cannot do that. She just gets up and goes. She's ready to mm. go. She just starts singing. Oh, God. If she wants to <laughs> snuggle. I know. So it's like, Ugh. you know, 3 a.m. and all of a sudden we're hearing 
just wild songs. You know, maybe the one she made up about sperm and egg cells going on mm. a date and, and falling in love and making them psycho. Oh, you and know, lack that's of accurate. Sleep. Yeah, like that, that a five-year-old does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Tap some okay. pointing out. You know how there's like the back, the national back order going on right now. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm in here, Eliza. Mom will be out in just a little bit. Um, I am oh, gonna have to go because I have okay. to start prepping some stuff that is on a timer. Oh, for March giving. March Yay! giving. No, have a fun March giving. Have a super I've fun never... March giving. Thank you. I've never left in, in the middle of a stream, though, so I, I hope I don't mess anything up. Just going to, like, exit no, the game. No, no, I don't think so. I'm I pretty sure you can just disconnect and it's up. okay. Yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure you can just close it, because I'm the host, so it shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, well, thanks for having me. This was always fun. Yes! Thanks go for having it. me. Go have an amazing um, March giving. Post pictures. Yeah. If you take go eat them, some good I would food. like to see. I will. Okay. Eliza. See you later, kitty. So yeah, I mean, so maybe um maybe once you get some OT done for Eliza, they whoever's doing the OT can make a different recommendation, you know, to help with the sleep because they'll be able to talk to her and you know, understand a lot more about yeah. what specifically the way that her symptoms are manifesting. You know, it. I the problem that we had with her diagnosis is because she is not struggling academically. Yeah, it's because she's smart mm -hmm. and she it she's meeting all of the education goals for a kindergartner, and because she is not you know behind in her class they're like yeah mm -hmm. too bad so sad yeah. it's like well you know she's not behind right now but we want to be proactive but if she's not we sleeping, want her to have skills yeah if she's not sleeping she's going to fall behind this inevitable yeah and even if she's not gonna fall behind you know she still deserves to have these skills start building and you know as soon as we've noticed these behaviors yeah because there's more the life family. than academics. And if you only focus on academics, then once she grows mm -hmm. up and enters the workforce, there's going to be a lot of things that she can't do that are required to, like, get yeah. along in the office that, like, are going to cause her a lot of problems. And, I mean, undiagnosed and untreated just in general will cause you ridiculous anxiety. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of – I think, like, if she was that close – to the scoring to get put on medication. Yeah. I think after some OT, then they might have a different recommendation for you. Yeah, I I do too. It's just a matter of like, okay, well, the one that we got referred to doesn't take our insurance. So now we oh, have to God. get on another list and wait for that call. How annoying. Like, all right. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It takes forever. But the fact that you're starting now is going to set her up for mm -hmm. success. So like you're That's... doing it right. It just takes a while. It just takes so long. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tap says I have to IV drip caffeine basically to focus on work. <laughs> That's fair. I've heard yeah. that. I've I... heard that from other um, ADHD mm -hmm. and, uh, and those similar kind of um, things from people. I the only reason why I'm like calm on the weekends and can function is because I have coffee. <laughs> it does not wake me up. It relaxes me enough mm -hmm. to just like quiet the brain tingles or whatever yep that's definitely like, like an, an adhd type of thing i'm so mad about that when i learned that i was like excuse me yeah yeah that's why like like you know if somebody that doesn't do have mean? it takes the adhd or add medications like they get high <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh damn yeah, the, I drowned a monster. Um, what? And I went to bed right after. Oh, downed a monster and went to bed right after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you think? Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, it just like, okay, that's fine. Uh, but I can feel it start to wear off. Mm. Okay. 
after stream before going over to visit my parents. Probably, probably get another coffee. coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think boy. this this is the last day. We'll do one more day, then we'll do a good news article, and then um then I'll switch everybody over to the BRB screen and we can say goodbye. Yeah. Um, sorry, how did you manage to work at a call center? That sounds like torture. No, it was actually really good because it was um for software support and it no, was business to business tap. software. Oh tap. Oh. Tap. Tap worked at a Wait. call center and I'm like, that sounds I missed it. Like torture. I missed him talking about that. It was torture. What kind of call yeah, center okay. did you work at? Because I I knew that but I don't remember um what situ <laughs> what the situation was. It was torture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more void mayonnaise. All right. <clears throat> Yay. That's a good, that was a good void chicken. Yeah, this I'm void so chicken is just making egg after egg after egg. That's awesome. Good job, void chicken. Yeah, we're, might want to make another mayonnaise thing. Yeah, we need a earth crystal. So someone needs to go down to the early level of the mines and get an earth crystal. And we can oh. we probably have enough resources to make another one if we had that. AT and T yeah. for four years, and I did the late shift. Oh my god, that's like an extra special oh, kind of call center torture. Gosh, yeah, that's Blech. oh boy. Yeah, no way, no way. Absolutely not. Mm hmm. I I don't think I could be paid enough to do that. <laughs> and you know they don't pay nothing. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of days that were just back-to-back -back calls for eight hours, I bet. And I needed the Dr. Pepper uh, uh, to keep just from getting entire. Yeah, I mean, I, oh, I can't. I can't handle that. I can't think about that without getting, like, my teeth hurt thinking about <laughs> that. Yeah, no way. That's the only thing, The one of the few things that, like, I can't get over at work is, like, when something happens, and of course, like, if something happens, if, like, an issue happens to everyone, they don't know it's happening to everyone, right? They think it's just them. So then all of a sudden, I get 20 emails with the same fucking question, and I can't uh. handle it. I cannot handle it. Like, I know there's some people that get mad at me for this, but, like, seriously, when I get that, I delete all the emails, and I just send out one company-wide email, and I don't answer a single person. Because like I just can't, I just absolutely cannot. That's fair. Like if it's the same question, like I don't mind I don't mind helping people and answering questions. Like that's my jam. I'm I'm happy with that. But if it's the same question twenty it's times in a row, absolutely not. I go yeah. yeah. No way. No thank you. Can't do it. Mm mm. No boy no. I'm still building, trying to remember like each day to build up hardwood so we don't run into another situation where we need yeah. a bunch of hardwood and we have like zero. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all the way up to 150 hardwood. I just, it takes so long. It takes so Ooh. long. Ridiculous. It's awful. Until we can start planting. Yeah. All right. Let's go do some early mine levels. Yep, I'm going to go do that too. I don't have a pickaxe, but I can oh. get a sword. I can use the obsidian edge in here. Come on, Diglett. What split floor are you going to? I'm on 11 right now. Okay, I'm going to meet you and... Um, okay. And I'll kill things while you mine. Perfect. Hi. Hello. Uh, just got stuck. You bitch. There we go. Like, I'll run around you. Here's a buggy. Excuse you. Leave her alone. <laughs> I God. how fast so it is. fucking rude. Yeah, remember when you Just... had to hit things multiple times back in the day Ugh. in this floor? Gross. Yep. When it was just everything. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Here they come. Oh, well. Bug time. Excellent. Come here, bitch. I'm not getting. Oh my god! Questions. I have no aim this in this annoying. game either. I'm sorry, I cut you off. What'd you say? I'm just cranky about the lack of crystals. Oh, getting lots of stone though. 
it's a it's a um, good luck day, so we should get one if we keep going. Well, just down. Let's go. Boop. Yeah, stone's one of the things that we actually have quite a lot of. We're good. I was playing a zombie yeah. VR game last night. My aim is a, yeah, my aim is terrible. I have terrible uh, aim. If you've been watching my Majora's Mask um, 100% <laughs> playthrough that I've been doing, like everybody okay. sees how bad my aim is. That that game is just hard anyway. It is. The aiming is really hard in that game. That aim mechanic is not the best. It's like really off. Like if you watch the footage, there's parts where it, like it looks like I should have got it, but I didn't get it. Yep. For real. <laughs> Well, at least we're getting some ores. Nothing. We'll get there. We. There's buggies. Come on, someone's got to drop an earth crystal. Oh my god. Oh, bug just appeared. Weird. Come to me, bug. <laughs> I like how it can go right past us and not hurt me at all. Yeah. We so I strong feel so now. Powerful. Yeah. I just... So strong. Slime. I'm big strong. Big strong ladies. Okay, where's the There it is. There it is. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, found the ladder. Oh, that was fast. I guess because it's a good I... luck day. Yeah. And then I can't reach over there until it gets mined. <clears throat> but I can bust this box. Just your regular mine lawn care lady, that's me. <laughs> Alright, there's some more boxes, maybe. Nope. Geode, though. I'm getting a lot of geodes. That's good. Maybe one of the geodes will have an earth crystal in it. Yeah. Well, saved up a bunch. Let me go pick up our tools. Oh, there's a ladder, too. So many. Oh, my goodness. Child of mine. Uh, nope. I'm not bothering with big. Yeah, it's only going to be stone, most likely. Yeah. yeah pretty much never get anything but stone out of those. Wasting time. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to look real fast because I am out of energy. Aw. Energy went bye bye Oh, well. That's fine. Can go okay. forage. We're done here. Yeah. Okay. It's time. Oh my goodness. I'll put you away. <clears throat> yes. The nagging. <laughs> mm. uh... I can just hear her out there, like, your mom's gonna be done soon. Remember, she said. Oh, I have an oh, earth yeah. crystal. Oh, I didn't even notice oh, I goodness. picked one up. Yay! <laughs> we did do it. I'm just blind. Yay! Thank goodness. Feels le. I mean, I know that we're leveling up skills and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my combat's crap. But. Yeah. Okay, well, we don't need this either. Boom, 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 All right, boom. what all do we need to make the... Make another eggy mayonnaise? Okay, stone wood and a copper bar. Boop, boop, boop. Ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. Doop, doop, I've got doop. copper. And then I need stone and wood. We got stone. We do got stone, and we do have enough wood to make one. So there we go. We have an another mayo machine. Boom. 
I know. Yeah. Like give us give us like five, ten more minutes. You got this, buddy. He actually you is like really, really He actually is oh. like really, really good. It's been um <clears> this been stream nabbing. and the and the last stream too, he was actually like really super well behaved. It's just because he sleeps. <laughs> this is a good nap time but, for him. Yeah, it's his morning nap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have an earth crystal in my house. Oh. <laughs> Well, um, I don't know if we have enough wood to make another one, but um, I'll put it in the chest over by the greenhouse. Okay. So eventually, when we're able to, I know, I know. I'm I'm collecting all the geodes, um, because I got to go pick up my axe tomorrow, so I have the geodes in my inventory. At that, so time. we remember next mm -hmm. time. So I'll remember to do them. Perfect. All right. There we go. I'm just going to plant this seed. Got a sway. We wiggle, 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 woo. I, every time I accidentally click on the fireplace, I'm always worried that I'm going to set the house on fire. <laughs> Even though I know that's not. That's not how that this game happen. works. <laughs> that is not like, at all how this game works. But there's something so ingrained in me. That's like the kind of thing that can happen in The Sims, though. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. All right. So when when we do play Stardew Valley next, which I have to look at when that is, I'm not 100 percent sure. It will be Christmas time. I think we'll probably Yay. get to the the the. Oh, I earned an achievement. Living large. Um, we'll probably get Ooh. to the achieve the to the uh winter star feast of the winter star. Oh, my mining leveled up! Yay! Chance for gems. Mine are a geologist. Eh, we'll do. I think I I did geologist. I think we looked it up was what was best. Yeah. Um, ge geologist. One of the perks that you get after geologist is like the best one. So that's what you want to mm -hmm. get if you care about optimizing your character. I I just like the way geologist sounds. <laughs> mm. So I too geologist. Oh, and the house upgrade good. is done. And the watering can is ready. Yay. Oh, it doesn't give Hooray. us the basement yet. The next what? one, I guess, is the basement. Oh. Yeah, it's the bedrooms and stuff. Oh, man. Anyways. Okay. Whatever. <clears throat> Let's, at least we're still getting hardwood. That's right. So, okay. Exit to desktop. All right, you guys. Let's do one other thing before we say goodbye to Kendra. Let's do today's good news article. Okay, so this Yay. is the good news article that I found for today. Um, Brazil's president makes good on campaign progress pro promise to evict miners from indigenous reservations in Amazon. So I wanted to talk about this. I saw mines yes. and I said, there's mines in Stardew Valley. Let's talk about this. This sounds pretty good. So I didn't read the article yet, but I, I saw the headline and I was like, heck yeah. Um, so we'll read it together. When President Lula de, S de Silva took office this year in Brazil, many environmental and indigenous right, gr rights groups hope to fulfill a campaign promise for better protections for the Amazon rainforest and the people who live there. There are legit, like, uncontacted, uncolonized tribes living in the Amazon rainforest. So it's, like, very, very yeah. important how we treat them and what we do to the land surrounding them that could, like, directly affect their survival. So this is very important for certain groups of people. Uh, you know, also impacts us up here in Idaho. Mm, yeah, Just it does. Actually. Environmentally. Yeah, it does. Like it, it impacts us um, all over the, this continent. The Amazon rainforest, rainforest is very, is very huge. important to this whole continent survival. So yeah. um, nearly four months into his tenure and early signs that Lula was telling the truth. As Brazilian police have evicted dozens of illegal gold miners from the um, Yanomami Reserve, an area the size of Portugal inhabited by around 35,000 tribesmen. This is the area I was talking about. That's um, amazing. Illegally, yeah, this is awesome. So illegally mined gold accounts for about half of all the country's exports and a new environment of and a new environment of the Amazon division of the federal police is seeking international assistance in building the first rate structure for targeting 
the outside funding for towards and sales from illegal gold mining. So um, I'm going to just kind of skim the rest of this because here's here's what I was hoping to see was something about what they're going to do to address why these people are doing this mining because they kind of did this in a lot of um, countries in Africa, right, where they really super cracked down on poaching. Yeah. But there's a reason that the people were doing the poaching um, that has to do with like their own local economies and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to see something about how that was going to be addressed. I'm sure that that is a question that people have been asking the Brazilian president, um, but I don't see it in this article. But either way, this is good news for all of us. Um, protecting the Brazilian rainforest is very, very important um, to yes. uh, humanity's continued survival. To just like say it what it is. That's just the truth. <laughs> yeah, this is really good I know. news. It's Lucas great agrees. News. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes. Yes, 804 miners have been arrested so far. Um, wow. They were they were arrested. All of them were let go. None of them have been charged. So it's unclear if Still. there's going to be more punishments other than just like constantly arresting them to stop the mining. Um, or, you, you know, know which your first arrest a, is a warning. Yeah, which might not be a bad thing. I mean, it might not be a bad yeah. thing to just continuously stop them from mining and not actually punish the individuals. Like, I don't really know enough about what's going on in Brazil to say, but that strategy could yeah. be, may, might be the best one. I don't know. I could see it. We're not, there is a video here. So I'm going to put this in the chat if anybody wants to watch the video. We're not going to watch it because every freaking time I do that, Twitch and YouTube throw a fit. So we're not, we're not <laughs> watching it. Unfortunately. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, everybody. Lucas is obviously um, done. He's over it. So let's all say goodbye to Kendra. Kendra, um, what would you like to promote or leave everybody with before you say goodbye today? Um, I would like to leave everybody with um, look up your local early Head Start programs and see if there is any volunteer options or donate options. The early Head Start does their Head Start programs. Their goal is to ensure that every child has an equitable start through a whole family approach. And they are one of the programs that I credit with us being able to buy a house is just the support that we got from them. We went from homeless when we entered the program to owning a home. So just, you know, go get back. Head Start's great. Oh, They're federally funded. They don't get state funding. Mm -mm. No, um, so. that's, how Head Start, that's how Head Start was even when I was a kid, too. That's so, yeah, the program it's that is it's all federal funding back in the 80s. They saw a need where, hey, we can do all of this early intervention and help kids um, in poverty escape poverty. And just it's a great program. Everybody should. You know, go look it up, go donate if you can, your time, any diapers that you have lying around, give it to a Head Start Center. I love that. Well, thank you so much. I see that uh, yeah. very, uh, very um, serendipitously, my little alert with all the ways that you can support me just popped up. So yes, if you would like to, um, if you enjoyed the stream today, please definitely drop a follow, but you can also support in a bunch of other ways. Um, we do all the Twitch things, subs, bits, all that stuff. Um, I have a tip jar, I have a uh, merch shop, I have a throne wish list, all of those sorts of things. But here's what I'd really, really like you to do. Here's what I want. What I really, really want is for you to go follow the Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> also, Twitter is my main social media, so you're welcome to follow me there if you would like. That's where all of the updates go on what's coming up on streams and any changes that um, get made. Also, I have a Discord server if you would like to hang out with me outside of streams. Or if you would like to make sure you get all the latest notifications, you want to get in the Discord. Um, next Saturday, we are, I think, I still got to talk to Landon. So this might change, but I think we're going to be, we're going to be starting our Death Note conversation. So we're going to be talking about Death Note. This is, this is furthering um, the weebification of Landon. We watch Death Note together and we're going to talk Dude. about it. It might get pushed back, so don't hold me to that. It might be, it might be okay. Sims 2 next week, but it's probably going to be Death Note. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're going to say goodbye to YouTube and stop the recording. For y'all watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. And uh, don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day.